Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Cohen and welcome to the Not So Legal Show. I have so much to talk about today. First, let's talk about music, pizza, and power tools. We'll get into that later. Also, for the Bernie Madoff victims, finally some redemption. Plus, we're gonna talk about what happens when a minority stakeholder of a basketball team has his picture uploaded to Twitter and decides he just doesn't like it. We're gonna talk about five tips to handle work stress because literally so many people complain about how stressed they are at work, so why not help out with that? I've got all that and the best hip hop lyric next on the Not So Legal Show. Hey everyone, welcome to the Not So Legal Show. I'm Stephanie Cohen. So let's talk about music, pizza, and power tools. Now, what do those three things have to do with one another? It's called the Black Keys are suing Home Depot and Pizza Hut because they're claiming that both of these companies have used two of their songs in their commercials without the band's permission. Now the ad agencies are claiming that they use sound-alikes and a sound-alike doesn't infringe on a copyright. And that's true because technically an artist can't really copyright their overall sound. So in order for the Black Keys to be successful on this case, they're going to have to show that these new songs really took substantive parts of the song and you couldn't tell any kind of a difference because they really took the substantive parts of it. I've got to say the Black Keys have been really vocal about people using their music, they don't like Spotify, and I think it's great because it really reminds everybody music is not for free, you really should be paying for it. Most of you know that Bernie Madoff was the mastermind behind the worst Ponzi scheme ever, and luckily now he's spending the rest of his days in jail. However, a new judgment just came by that's going to help victims recoup some of their losses. Ezra Merkin was an associate of Madoff, and essentially this guy ran three hedge funds and was making over $35 million a year just for passing money along to Madoff. Now, a judge ordered Merkin to pay $405 million back to the victims. Now, one out of every 10 victims was a nonprofit organization. How these guys were able to wake up in the morning, look themselves in the mirror is beyond me, and I'm glad that finally there's going to be some consequences to their actions. Now the victims won't be 100% compensated, but the $405 million judgment certainly is a start. As there's a picture that this woman had uploaded of him that he doesn't like. He asked her to take it down. She posts a lot about his commercial real estate company, and there's a picture of him, which here it is. You can check out the picture. Obviously, it's not the most attractive picture. However, there's this case, this Barbara Streisand thing, where Barbara Streisand got pissed off because people were seeing pictures of her house. And then by telling people she didn't want people to see pictures of her house, so many people ended up seeing it. You and I probably would never have known who this guy was or what this picture was, except for this lawsuit. So to me, it sounds like a five-year-old who's pissed off that he's not getting what he wants. So please comment below and check out the picture because now everyone should see it because he's so upset about it. Now it's time for Not So Legal Work Talk. Okay, a lot of people write in to me and want to talk about issues they're having at work. So I thought, why not have a better place than here to talk about issues that all happen during the workplace? So today, I'm going to talk about how to handle work stress. Here's five quick, easy tips. Number one, when the naysayer of the office comes into your office every single day, just tell them you only want to talk to them once a week, or maybe even once a month, or maybe never. Number two, keep a yoga mat in your office. No one has to see it, but it's fine. Just do a down dog every now and then. It really helps to relieve stress. Number three, for those of you that eat lunch at your office, sitting at your desk, hunched over, halfway eating, halfway typing, just take a break. Better to take 30 minutes to enjoy lunch, get some sunshine, than to sit all day long at your computer, 12 hours straight, eating lunch, keeping and working. It's just, it's just not a good thing. Number four, take a 10 minute break. Just a 10 minute walk, 10 minute break, search the internet, do something, but just clear your mind of work just for five seconds. It's a very helpful thing. And number five, last but not least, if you are so stressed out at work that all you do is talk to your friends about it, talk to your family about it, and complain about it every day in and out, take one hour every day and look for a new job. Let's speed ahead to the best hip hop lyric, which is all about work from Young Jeezy, where he says, my PO officer said I gotta get a nine to five, and I told him my job is just staying alive. That's it for now. Always remember to honor your power. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you next time for the next video posting.
this is gonna help. Okay. Is it filming? Yes. Okay. Action. <laughs> that doesn't help with the pillow. I was just thinking. Okay.